Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk more Bulldog football. And with us is senior wide receiver Jake Lampman. And Jake, first of all, welcome to the show. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I know it's uh, your senior year, your second senior year, uh, injured last year. What's it, what's it meant to you to have an opportunity to come back uh, here as a, as a senior again this season? Well, you know, I got to thank, you know, my family and my teammates and the coaches and, you know, God for just giving me a second chance and letting me come back and be a part of something that's so special. You know, last year was a great start to the season. And uh, so I wanted to carry in, to, carry in the same mindset in the off season, just kind of pretend like nothing happened and just come back. And um, so I was blessed to be able to come back and everyone was really supportive throughout the whole process. And just to have one more year back with the guys that I came in with is just a blessing. And so, um, you know, I'm honored to be a part of the team and ready to just win a championship. And so I get to have a little more more say in what happens, so it's kind of fun, so we'll see how it goes. Bulldogs off to a 3-0 and start. Uh, talk about uh, what, what you've seen out of the team so far here through the first three games of the season. You know, a lot is, a lot is the same as last year. You know, there's a few changes that every team makes every year, and, um, you know, as, as, as captains, we try to make sure we take all the good stuff from last year and uh, get rid of some of the things that we didn't like um, in order to have uh, the same success um, as last year, if not maybe a little bit more. Um, I feel like the team chemistry is as good as it's ever been, you know. Um, you know, we got a lot of guys that are doing the right things and the coaches see that and they prepare us for the, for, for the right things and uh, I, I think we handle our success last year extremely well as a team um, and just kind of block what, what we did last year. This is a new year and that's kind of our mindset this year is just this season is 2015 and what happened in the past is in the past and we got to, you know, write our own history this year. So. You mentioned uh, being a captain. Uh, what's that mean uh, to be a team captain, to be out there for the coin toss every game, and uh, th those guys that you're captains with? What, what does that mean? You know, it's it's definitely a blessing. And I, you know, Coach Anise, um, I thank him for the opportunity to be a leader on the team. Um, I know there's a lot of guys that are worthy of the captain position, so and that take on captain roles even though they're not captains. So for me, it's just like being one of the guys, and um, with Jason and Zim and. Uh, uh, Bennett, it's it's a it's a good time. You know, we all you know love each other just like we're brothers. And there's some guys like Cody Dingledy and Anthony Darkangelo that are ag amazing leaders on this team. And so, um, being a part of that is just really special for me. And uh, being able to lead this team and have a say in what goes on is is also um, an awesome thing for me. So I appreciate it. We see uh, here some footage uh, from Saturday, a homecoming win over Saginaw Valley, and you were able to get in the end zone here uh, for the Bulldogs' first score of the game. Uh, talk about getting into the end zone here. Well, it was good to get in uh, at home in front of the, the home crowd and in front of some family and friends that were at the game. Um, it's nice to be in the end zone here at, at Ferris State. It got in against Grand Valley, but um, just to have that first touchdown of the game, just to kind of spark everything was, was awesome. You know, we, we're prepared every week for what uh, what Saginaw was going to do and um, just like this this coming week with Finley and so um, our coaches do an amazing job of preparing us and get us, getting us in the right spots and with our offense we're able to pick apart a defense just by looking at what they're in the play before just because we're so well prepared by our coaches and it's it's great so a uh, few big catches in Saturday's game against Saginaw Valley and I know uh, you're one of many options uh, in this Ferris State offense talk about uh, some of those other skill players uh, you have in terms of the uh, your fellow wideouts and your fellow slot receivers yeah it's definitely it's it's fun to watch those guys play you know and with our offense the craziest part is I could have one great week a breakout week and the next week it could be Jamel or Polak or Antonio or Shaq or Kenny um, you know all those guys they come to work every day and we're probably the toughest receiving core um, and skill position in the country, I'd say, just because of the work ethic that we have and just the, the grit that we have. And um, like I said before, we're so well prepared every single week. Coach Sparky and, and Coach Anise do an amazing job of preparing us and Coach Steven East. And um, so we know where to be and we know what we need to do and times we're going to mess up, but um, th that's few and far between. So we're definitely well prepared and um, we put in a lot of preparation in the off season. We're up here all summer, so it's great to see those guys have the same success. Um, and we're all humbled by it, and we all want to see each other succeed. And so I think that's one of the greatest things that makes us such a great unit um, is that we, we want to see each other do well. So that's really awesome. You mentioned getting into the end zone against Grand Valley a couple weeks ago on one of the Division II plays of the week. Uh, talk about that chemistry between yourself and, and Jason at quarterback. Uh, you know, I'm his roommate, and we, we're with each other almost seems 24-7. And so we're able to build a bond outside of football. 
um, you know, and, and especially with our relationship with Christ and being able to go to the same church and have the same mentors and we, we hold each other really accountable. And so I think that plays a huge part. Um, he knows that I'll be in the right spot and I know that he's going to, you know, put me in the right position to make a play. And so we kind of just feed off each other that way and it, it helps that we're roommates. Um, sometimes we want to kill each other, but that's just the way it is and that's just from spending a lot of time together. So, um, you know, it's just fun to see him be so successful and just to be a part of that is... It's a, it's, a, it's a blessing. So I know you mentioned off the air, uh, you graduate in December. Uh, talk about your major. What, what are your future plans uh, maybe beyond this season for, with the Bulldogs? Yeah, you know, um, I'm just taking it all in and just enjoying every moment right now. I got a couple classes that I just need to finish up to get my degree in marketing. Um, so I'm hoping to see where football takes me after school's over with. And I got a, a few plans with that. And we'll just see what happens. And uh, I'm just going to let God take control and put me in the places I need to be in. And right now, I'm just going to take advantage of the opportunity I've been given. And uh, I'm just going to enjoy this last, this last fall with my Bulldogs. And it's, it's, it's going to be a fun year. So. I know the last couple summers, uh, you've been active with the Ferris State Athletic Department in terms of marketing and sales. <laughs> uh, talk about that experience. Um, it's a great experience. You know, John Coles puts puts me in a great position to really um, get the true work experience that I'll be getting in the real world. So um, I could definitely see myself doing something in the sports industry where I'm doing business to business partnerships. You know, we, we broke a couple sales records, which is just, you know, I have Simone Denis and Casey Shaman and Lexi Hunty and Matt Poaches has worked with us. And, you know, we have a great team, great chemistry. I um, got to know them as, as great people. And we just go out there and we, we take the mindset from the sporting events that we have and we put it out into what we do. And so we were able to break a couple sales records and John was there uh, the entire way, just um, giving us, you know, a little bit of guidance and some coaching on the side there too, just to kind of get us in the right mindset to make a sale. So I, th I thought it was really fun, just the hands-on interaction with the, the people of Big Rapids. They're a great community and I got to experience firsthand through my job. So I loved it, it was awesome. Talk about finally uh, how, how the culture's changed uh, since Coach Anise came in in terms of Bulldog football. Um, I just feel like we have an instilled, um, you know, we have our four pillars of success, faith, order, love, and discipline. And I feel like he's, he's made us want to be more a part of not just the football, but the, the school and the community and just trying to get everyone else involved. And I feel like once we felt that we were doing it for something bigger than ourselves, not just, you know, our own personal success, is when we truly started to, you know, be happy when we won and true it, it, it hurt more when we lost because we felt like we were letting not just ourselves down but our teammates and the people of the community we really wanted to make it so that people in this community felt like they were a part of what we're doing and that kind of just ties into why we're so successful is because we have more to lose um, than I think a lot of other teams do so well Jake uh, thanks so much for being with us best of luck to the Bulldogs the rest Appreciate of the it. way thanks for having me that's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com.